We can use union to combine multiple meshes into one. In this video, I'm gonna show you how it works. So let's do it. I have three static mesh actors with different materials. I want to combine them into one mesh. Up here, click on selection mode and select modeling. The shortcut is shift and five. If you don't have it, go to settings, plugins. Here, search for modeling tools and make sure modeling tools editor mode is turned on. So I'll press shift and 5 to go to modeling mode. The modeling tab will open here. Select the meshes. Then under mesh processing, select union. I'll just change the handle input to hide inputs and new asset location to current folder. Make sure you're in the folder you want the new mesh to be saved in. Then click on accept. The new merged mesh will be saved here. We can drag and drop it in the scene and use it as one object. It's also added to the level exactly where the source meshes are and the source meshes are hidden. The pivot is not ideal. It is in the center of the new mesh, but you can watch this video to learn how to change it within Unreal Engine. The material elements are based on the order we selected the meshes. Box was the first one we selected, so red and yellow are the first elements, and cylinder was the last one we selected, so blue is the last element. Now that we know how union works, let's go over its settings and some things to consider when using it. Before getting to that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. Delete these and select the source meshes again. Select union, leave trim flaps and show new boundary edges to their default. Only use first mesh materials does exactly as the name suggests. So we want it off. If it's enabled, all the other meshes will default to the material element 0 of the first selection. In this case, the box is the first mesh I selected, and element 0 is red. Let's enable it, we can see what happens in the preview. These two become red as well. Show gizmo turns the gizmo on and off. We can use them to move, rotate or scale the meshes before finalizing the union. Output type is by default set to from input. Our inputs are static meshes, so the union's output will be a static mesh too. We can also set it as volume or dynamic mesh. Let's set it to volume. We can select the volume type down here. Blocking volume is fine. After we click on accept, a volume with the exact shape of our meshes will be added to the scene. Right to gives us three options. New object will output a new object. First input object will attach all the meshes to the first one we selected. And last input object will attach all the meshes to the last one we selected. When we set it to first or last input object, the output type hides and the name option changes to the name of the first or the last object. Handle inputs is an important option. It handles what happens to the input or source meshes. Before clicking on accept, we should always check it. It gives us 5 options. The names are pretty much self-explanatory. And if we hover the mouse on top of them, the tooltip tells us exactly what they do. Down here, these are the modeling mode quick settings. They are for all the modeling tools. Their defaults are fine. The only one we may want to change is where the merged mesh should be saved. Autogen folder world relative creates a folder next to the level you're working in and puts the new mesh there. Autogen folder global creates a new folder in the root of the content folder and puts the mesh there and current folder puts the merged mesh in any folder that is currently open in the content browser. This is the one I use most of the time. I went over how to merge actors in this video, but union is different from merging. If I hover the mouse on top of union, we can see that it says boolean union the selected meshes including self union to resolve self intersections. So union resolves intersections. Let's move the meshes so they intersect each other. Select them, go to union, the previous settings are fine. Click on accept, the new mesh has been generated. Let's open the static mesh, set it to unlit so we can see it better. 
Now when I isolate the elements, we can see that the intersections have been removed. I'll select the mesh in the viewport and go to try select, set the selection mode to by material. And let's select the red material. Click on duplicate to create a new mesh from the selected triangles. It's created here in the content browser and add it to the level. Press accept and move the new mesh here. Now we can see the deleted intersections better and it seems like the mesh had some intersections with itself too. Those are also removed. Let's delete these two and unhide the source meshes. If I merge these actors, and open the mesh we can see that the intersections are not removed so this is one thing you may want to consider before using union if any of the materials are the same they will become one element let's assign the red material to this cone and perform the union operation again As you can see, the new mesh has three material elements. We can also use union with volumes. As we saw earlier, we can use it to generate a volume from a static mesh actors. If I add a couple of volumes, we can use union to combine them too. We can even set the output type to a static mesh. After clicking on accept, a new static mesh with the form of the volumes will be added to our content browser and the level. So that was Union. Click here for more Unreal stuff. And thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe, and join our community on Telegram, Discord, and Facebook. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.